Using stock media is pain. You're watching a video, somebody's talking to you, you're interested, you're engaged, you're listening, and then all of a sudden it cuts to a clip that's completely different. It's lit completely different, completely different style, completely different people, and it's just so jarring. So much of stock media and the stock media choices video editors choose does not match the style or look of the creator. A lot of us are looking for clips that can tell the story that the person is talking about, but the clips look so different that it just feels jarring. It can be really tough to find the right ones on stock media websites. Search engines on stock websites are just not as good as Google, but it's not necessarily their fault. It's not like they know how we're thinking and how we search for things. So that can be part of the problem. But at the same time, even though some of these websites have millions and millions of clips, certain situations they just don't have. Stock media websites work with creators to film general things. So when a YouTuber is talking about a specific story in something, it's hard to pick something general because they're talking about something specific. And there are so many clips trying to show videos that these websites slow down and just the general usage of it is tough. The whole process of getting a stock media clip is time consuming. You find the right clip, you gotta click download, you gotta put it in the right folder. Once it's in the right folder, you gotta open up the video editing app and then you gotta pull the stock clip into the video editing app and then once it's in the video editing app you got to pull it down into the timeline and if you don't want it to be the same color as other clips you got to change the color to keep organized you got to do that for every single clip that you find yeah it makes a lot of sense to look for the clips and download it in bulk and put it into the video editor in bulk but a lot of times that's not how we work but then when you do that once you get into the video editing app Sometimes it can be tough to find the right clip again and to put it down to the timeline. It adds a lot of time to the process of video editing. Then when you do pick clips that will work excellently for the audience, which is how I pick stock media, it amplifies what the person is saying and it's gonna match up with how the audience thinks about things. That may not line up with the client's view on the stock media. So you send it for review and they see the stock clips and what they're thinking is they don't like that stock clip aesthetically what they like rather than thinking about how the audience is going to feel seeing that stock clip it's happened a bunch of times clients will just comment on my videos and say hey change this stock clip and then you have to go and look for a new stock clip to change that out, but you're not sure if it's gonna fit with what the client wants. It's down to preference, and that's always difficult to navigate when you're working with clients in terms of video editing. Speaking about the mechanics of stock clips, these websites are pretty expensive for the good quality ones. Some of them can be 30 bucks a month, 40 bucks a month, and you have to pay yearly to get that price. It's hard to justify that cost. If you wanna go for cheaper ones, the quality is just not gonna be there. And speaking of quality, a a lot of the stock clips, the quality is just not that great. It's well known and it's a meme online that stock clips can look wacky, goofy, strange, especially when you put them into the context of a YouTube video. So you're paying that expensive amount of money and then you use stock clips that just don't look that great. There are exceptions if you go for more cinematic style stock clips, but then it doesn't really match the vibe of the YouTube video for the creator. Again, it's just weird. And one of the most painful things about using stock media Media is that it's a direct contradiction to YouTube itself. YouTube is all about sharing yourself, sharing your stories, your struggles, your goals, your aspirations, and awesome things in your life. But then someone's talking and then it cuts to a clip that is not that person. It's not the you anymore. You're taking clips from other things, other people in it, other styles, and it doesn't match the flow or the vibe of the person talking. If you think about it, stock clip usage in YouTube videos just doesn't make sense from a philosophical standpoint. And that's a video editor confession. Using stock media is pain. What do you think about stock media? Are you subscribed to any specific sites? How do you like working with it? Do your clients like the stock clips that you choose? Tell me your experiences in the comments. Let's talk about it. I want to hear about this. Personally speaking, I'm not subscribed to any stock media website right now. And I try to push my clients to not use stock media. If we do here and there, it'll be very light usage. And the reason is because it's weird and jarring to me. And I think it's not going to work for my clients and their audiences. Thank you so much for watching.